On today's episode, we are gonna be engraving aluminium anodized pens. These are a really, really great item. They're easy to pick up from many wholesalers. They are cheap to buy, and most importantly, they are very premium. So these are a great one to give us gifts. They're good ones to sell. So what are we gonna be going through today? We're gonna to be using the X-Tool F2, and we're gonna be setting this up within the machine. We are then gonna move over to the software. We're gonna load up a design into the software. We're gonna position it. We're gonna frame it in the F2. Then we will get the material settings nailed down. We will engrave it. And at the end, I will show you the results. And hopefully you will have learned something new that you can take moving forward and add to your laser engraving arsenal. So let's do this. These are anodized aluminium pens, and as you can see, they do come in a different range of colors. I've got three other colors here, but there are more of them that come out of the packs. So these are really common. You can pick these up on most websites fairly cheap. When it comes to actually engraving them, it's a bit more tricky because if you just try and lime on the bed manually, you will find actually the rear end of the pen, which is that part there, that's the part you want to engrave on. And to get that to sit still is really difficult. So one thing a lot of people do is they use jigs for this and I do have a jig that I use for this and this has been designed specially for these pens and as you can see what it does is it sits them so they can only lie in one position and also you can close the lid down so that you can also engrave safely. So we're gonna be doing that in this case. I am gonna be engraving all three designs just because I wanna show you guys these things look really good when they're engraved. Once we have our items in place, you'll see the two dots aren't currently joined up. So we will be using the manual focus on the side and if we turn it anti-clockwise, it will make the laser head go down Clockwise will make it go up. We're gonna just adjust it until we get those two dots joined together. So we've manually focused this now. Let's move over to Xtool Studio. So here we are in Xtool Studio. We are gonna start off by clicking at the top right. You'll see a black button that says new project. So that's gonna open up our workspace and you probably heard there was a beep and we have a green symbol now. And behind me is my F2 and it's now successfully connected to it. So we did manually focus the machine. I'm also gonna show you that you can automatically do that as well. And if you click on the little ruler icon there, what it will do is the lights will dim. It will raise and lower based on what it thinks is distance away from the actual object is. And then it will give you a number there and it should also update the picture. And there you go, you can see our pens laid in the jig, ready for us to start positioning our design. So let's do that next. So one thing to note with this is we have spherical shapes. So we're looking at top down, it looks flat, but obviously we have a circular shape. So if we try to engrave right on the edge, because it's circular, as the laser comes down, it's gonna glance off of it and it's probably not gonna make great contact. So we need to be really careful to position our text or our images in a really strong engravable space and that is usually the, the inner part of the curve at the top and I'll show you it when we get it framed but that's what I want you to bear in mind when you do these spherical items. So the first thing we want to do is just get our text and we want to position it so we'll do that next. One thing I want to say is I have just noticed the orange pen has been pre-engraved so I've swapped it out I'm gonna update the image now. You're gonna see a green one in its place. Don't worry, the process is the same. I just wanted to make sure that the pen wasn't already engraved so you could have the full experience. Let's move on. So now we're gonna put our design onto here. So we're gonna click the T in the left-hand side. That will allow us to click anywhere on the area and give us some text. I'm gonna put my name, which is Christopher. I don't get called that very often, only when I'm in trouble, but in this case, it will fit the pen nicely, so let's do it. What I will say is, with these pens, I find a height of six millimeters tends to work nicely. As I said before, the curved top, if you do it too wide, it means it's gonna bounce off. Six millimeters works nicely though, so once you've got your text there, actually, before we change that, I would recommend we, we change the font. So I'm gonna change the font here, so click on the text, Click on that and then what will happen is as you hover over different fonts, it will update. There are some really nice ones, that's nice. I quite like this Aklonica, so I'm gonna go with that. And once you do that, then click on the height and change that. In this case, we're gonna put it to six. So I know now if I centrally position that on the pen, it should successfully engrave and look absolutely fine. So let's put it on there. I'm gonna put it in the middle area right there. And then I'm gonna copy and paste it two times by pressing Control C and then Control V. You can also right click and just copy and then paste. And I'm gonna change this one here to Penelope, which is the name of my daughter. 
and then Jennifer, who is the name of my wife. So I'm going to try and roughly locate it, but we will be framing this manually to make sure we're happy with it. One other thing I want to show you guys is you can also add images, and we've got a bit of space over here, so let's add some elements on. You'll see a square and a circle there. If we click on that, you will be greeted with an elements tab, and there are various different categories with different things. I'm going to go with an animal one, which is down here, and I'm just going to pick some animals. So for me, I'm going to choose a monkey. Why not? And as we've done with the text, we're going to set the height to six millimeters, which it now is. And we're just going to put it roughly there. I'm then going to find a butterfly for my wife. And once again, we're going to set the height to six millimeters. Put it there. So for Penelope, we're going to do a bunny rabbit. There you go. So six six millimeter height again, and then we're gonna put it here. And now what we wanna do is we wanna just make sure that this is aligned with this. So the way we do that is select, you can either drag a box around both like that, which is a good way, or you can select it, hold, shift, and then select the other one. Once you've got them selected, click on the little down arrow here, and we wanna vertical align center. And you see how that butterfly moved down? We now know the two are aligned. We can do that with the following one. So we're gonna do that again. Vertical align center, that one is absolutely fine. Then finally this one, vertical align center, brilliant. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to the framing phase because we wanna make sure these are exactly central along the shaft of the pen to make sure they engrave really, really evenly. Down here, you're gonna see an arrow and a little hatched box. So what I find is the best way to do this, okay? I like to keep rect on this, so it's just gonna do a rectangular outline. But what you're gonna find is if you just frame it as it is, it's gonna frame the whole design as one design. What I recommend doing is clicking the frame button, then selecting the two top icons there, and then we're gonna frame, and that will only then display the framing for that design. We can adjust it accordingly with the arrows on our keyboard. Then we'll go on to the next one, and then the next one. So I'm gonna show you that now. I'm gonna switch over to the camera, and you'll see the process. So you should see on that bottom pen now, there is a line all the way across a box. I am literally just using the arrow keys to move it up gently so that I'm happy with where it sits. And now it is sat centrally on the top of that pen. What I will now do is move over and select the middle one, but I do need to move it upwards because it isn't centrally over the top, even though it looked like it in the picture. This is why it's so important to frame, by the way because just because it looks good on the picture, it doesn't mean it's gonna be good in real life. Then finally on the green one, on the green one, we are moving it to get it centrally in place. There we go, so I'm happy with that framing. Okay, so we've got our design framed, we're happy. You'll see that it doesn't necessarily look like it's in the right position here. On all of them, it looks like it's sat upwards, but we have framed it and we are confident it's in the right position. This is a prime example why you can't always 100% rely on the camera because the camera isn't directly above it all. It's at an angle, so it's always gonna look swayed a little bit. Now that we've got our design sorted, we're gonna apply our material settings. So click on the material. I have set something up already. You can see I've called it aluminium pens, various colors. This is based on the testing I did. So what I'll do is select all of these items. What I will do as well is I'm just gonna change the layer red so you can get a better contrast in view of it. But I have a setting set up. It's using the infrared light, 90% power, 950 speed, 200 lines per centimeter. And one thing I wanna show you is this advanced settings box, there is a crosshatch setting. So what that means is the laser is gonna do down and then across. It's gonna do two sweeps, but in different directions. That does two things. One, it allows us to definitely get a nice contrasting engraving. Two, it actually gives us a nice clean finish. So that those are our settings. We're now gonna move on to the process and you're gonna see right now, if you click that, this is quick. 22 seconds is rapid and that's with us doing a crosshatch. We could probably do it in half that time, but I like to be safe and ensure that I get a clean engraving so I don't waste a pen. So let's click start and we'll move on to the engraving. One thing I wanna say is I will be engraving with the lid up, but I am wearing safety glasses. I recommend you close the lid, even though we're using the infrared laser, it is invisible to the eye, but it can cause damage. And with these as well, they, cr they produce a fine powder, so make sure you have good extraction as well. Let's get on with the engraving.
Okay, so let's take a look at the results. As you can see, look how clear they've come out. They've come out really nice. They're so contrasting. I'll try and hold one up really close so you can get a focus on it. It looks really good. These are brilliant. I mean, like I said, you can actually do so much with these. And the six millimeter height we used is absolutely fine. It's managed to capture everything on every one of these pens. So yeah, a brilliant result. Hopefully something you can import into your workflow and maybe start selling them or gifting them to people. So I hope you've learned something new today. Thank you very, very much for watching. And as I've said before, check out our Facebook community groups where we share all of our settings. Also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these videos. And thank you very much for watching once again. I hope you've learned something new. And let's move on to the next one.